I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a map of our classrooms. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, straight line across. This is my arrow that represents the north part of my classroom. Coming straight down, I draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, straight line connect. This is the south part of my classroom. Okay? Come over here, we're going to draw a straight line, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in. This is the east direction of my classroom and I come all the way over here, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight line connect. This is the west part of my classroom. Now I put a dot right here and I'm just going to draw a straight line across, straight line down, come back to the dot, straight line down, straight line across. This is the interior, the inside part of my classroom. I come over here on the top left and I draw a straight diagonal down, little straight line, straight diagonal down on the left, jump over, come over here, straight diagonal down, little straight line, straight diagonal down, connect. This is my door and this is my door because you need two, one to enter and one to exit plus to get out if there was an emergency. Right here I'm going to put a little straight line, long straight line, straight line up, connect, and I'm just going to put little straight lines going across. These are my computers. Now I'm not going to draw the whole computer, but I will draw these little lines to represent each one of my computer stations. I come back over here on the left, which is the west side of my classroom. I draw a little straight line out, big straight line down, little straight line in, then I come in and I draw little straight lines all the way across. And these are my cubbies for my kids, my classroom kids, to come in through the door, go to their cubbies and drop off their backpacks and everything else. Now I come down over here and I draw a circle and this is my round table. Now, you can have your homework. This can be where your TA, your teacher's assistant sits. And these little straight line, straight lines, little straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. These represent chairs going around the round table. Now I come down here on the south, draw a little straight line, big straight line across, little straight line. And this is the teacher's white board. Some of you have chalk boards, but we have white boards. And this is also for using media. We sometimes put in videos for the kids to watch or to draw along, like you're doing right now. Okay. Now, right before that, I'm going to draw a rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line. And this is the teacher station. And this is where all the controls are, maybe, maybe for your media. This is where the teacher keeps all her books. Now I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. This is table one. Table 2, Table 3, and Table 4. I'm going to put straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. 
straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. These are chairs. Now, some of you might have more or less children at each table, and that's fine. I'm just going to put four, but I bet some places will have less, some places will have more. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Okay. Now I come over here on the south part again, and I'm just going to put straight line, long line, straight line, connect. This is the library. This is where you keep your room books. Now I'm going to put straight line, straight line going up, straight line. And these are the bins. This is where you keep all your manipulatives, like for math. And right here, I'm just going to start with an oval. Draw it again. Draw it again. Draw it again. And what is this? Everybody should know this. This is the rug. Okay, now come up on the upper part of the east, and we're just going to draw a straight line out, down, in, and then we're going to put a little rectangle inside, and baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. This is the sink. Very important because we got to keep our hands clean. And now by the other door, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, and this is the teacher's teacher's cubby because she or he needs a lot of room for all their supplies. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, every room is different. You probably have noticed. But I'm just going to do certain colors for a couple of things. So I'm going to make my arrows showing my directions. North, south, east, and west. I'm going to make these red so that when we talk about the direction of our classroom, you'll know where to look. I'm going to take blue and color in my tables. And most of you know the teacher will say, okay, everybody at table one, come to the rug. Table two, go to computers. Table three, go to the round table. And table four, stay right where you are. You're going to be working at your seats. So it's very important to have all of your tables labeled and to know what group you're in. So I'm going to make that blue. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to color my cubbies yellow. And your cubby is very important because that's where you keep all of your things, your backpacks, your homework sometimes. The teacher will sometimes put messages in there so you don't forget. Next I'm going to take green. And here are my doors. Now you can color these any colors you want. These are just the colors I'm doing. Now for my round table, I'm just going to put turquoise, blue-green, going all the way around. Round table is very important. Sometimes that's where the teacher's assistant meets with you for a center. That's where you get your, maybe turn in your homework so you know where everything is. Okay, right here on the south end is my library. I'm going to color that orange. And I'm going to just outline my bins so we know that they're part of that whole section. Next, I'm going to take my blue-green and color in my sink. Also, very important, don't play in the water, but you should keep your hands clean. Now I'm going to take my purple and I'm just going to outline the lines I already did for my teacher's cubby. Stay out of that. She's got stuff or he's got stuff in there that you should not be in unless they ask you to. Now I'm going to take my purple and I'm just going to color my rug. Very important. You've got to learn how to be quiet on the rug. Pay attention on the rug. Keep your hands and your feet by yourself. We don't go crazy on the rug. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my red and I'm going to outline the teacher station because you should know where that is. That's also very important. And I'm going to put a little bit of green. Just outline it. Straight lines for my computers very important part of the classroom also. 
I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my classroom all colored in, ready to start school for the new school day. And somebody is going to say, hey, my room does not look like that. This gives you a map. Make your own. Okay, bye-bye.